so you want to start a press on business but you don't know what to buy don't trip shouty i got you okay so the first thing that you're gonna need is obviously or not obviously because it might not be that obvious but you're gonna need some full well full well basically means that it covers the whole nail bed full well nail tips okay so these come in all brands like all shapes and sizes and here are just like three random brands that i pulled out so this is the first thing you'll need this is what you'll be creating all your nail art on um and yeah so after you have your uh full well nail tips you're gonna need something to create these nails on okay so there's so many different types of nail stands you can get these um and then there's like fall off while you're in the middle of doing them so i don't recommend these unless you're gonna like super glue these onto there and they're like harnessed on there there's these type these type usually come with like another one that's like straight i don't know but that bothers me <laughs> so there's so many options and then there's this type and I like to use these when I'm working with acrylic because I also do acrylic um, press-on nails. I feel like I have an enough space and then it's supposed to be easy to detach this, but obviously. Damn, I need to stop saying obviously. Things are not that obvious. What's wrong with you, bro? Over here. Okay, see. So you could take it off and then I could file like good. All right. After you got yourself some of these, next, what do y'all think you need? What are you going to paint these nails with? Hmm? So, you need some gel polishes, okay? These are all by Valentino. If you decide to do acrylic press-on nails, then you're going to need acrylic. But you need to start off with the basics, which is basic... Um, polishes you can buy some on amazon i do have some that i have from amazon the only thing is that when you buy from amazon you're gonna buy this small little bottle right and then when you finish it you're gonna have to buy a whole packet of this small little bottle packet or you could buy a big old bottle this is gonna last you longer and you know um you'll have enough if you get like a repeated set so i do have these but if you're getting started, maybe you can buy a package. I will link the ones that I've bought before. But I always recommend getting the bigger bottles. It, it just works out for you easier. Okay, next what you're going to need is base coat. Some people use base coat. Some people don't use base coat. It's really up to you. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But you would definitely need a matte top coat and a regular top coat. This one is loved and used but y'all get the picture okay this okay so if you're an artsy person you're gonna want to do nail art on your nails so i would recommend getting some sets of brushes you could buy the cheaper ones like these or you can get more like expensive these are winstonia brushes this one's messed up but I still use it sometimes. I like to use longer brushes when I do French and stuff like that. Um, and dotting tools, these are a key. I literally bought this when I first started doing nails and I still have them. Like they're, you won't need to buy new dotting tools like ever, unless you want new stuff, but like it's not necessary. So I like to do kawaii and extra sets. So I have some charms. Um, these charms have been collected from different places, but you can order them anywhere from Shein, Alibaba, and Amazon if you need, like, to make a set with, like, flowers or butterflies and you don't have that one, you could just quickly order it on Amazon, you know? So, charms, cute. Okay, so you've created the set. Now, how are you going to store it and ship it? So this is my original packaging that I had, pretty basic. A lot of people use this packaging. Um, I have my nails and inside the package, I have my application kit. So your application kit should have everything your 
customer needs to put these nails on, okay? Um, and an instruction card. Some people, they've never used press-on nails before or they have been applying them improperly and that's why they fall off. But this is how I packaged my nails. I am now um, moving on to package my nails like this. This is upside down. Like this. Let's move the light so they look beautiful. They look beautiful without light, but you know, you get the picture. And these are acrylic press-on nails. These are gel press on nails acrylic will cost you more it's more time it's like i'm doing a full set of acrylic these will cost you a bit less either way you're still getting a product that is custom to you custom made and you're just gonna look like a bad bitch you know boss bitch they got her nails done and nobody gotta know their press on nails I have been noticing, like, when I do my pop-ups, more um, women that are already developed in their career um, have entered the corporate world. They like to wear press-ons on the weekends when they go out, when they go to drink mimosas on Sundays. And then they like to take them off right before they go back to work on Monday because it's hella hard to type with these long-ass nails. Um... I don't know if you tried, but I've tried, and I'm just like this. I look like um, Homer Simpson. Is it Homer Simpson, that meme? I don't know. I don't. It's not Homer Simpson. I'll find the meme, and I'll put it in. <laughs> but uh, these are two different types of packaging, you know? Um, and after that, you're basically all set. You can sell the press-ons like this. Um ship them this will come with a separate application kit package um but those are basically all the things that you need to get your press on nail business started it's quick and simple you know um we don't need to overcomplicate things when you're get just getting started you can choose like one to two different types of styles you don't need to like go and buy all the different type of styles you have all um show give me a second so these are all the different um styles and lengths i have at first i thought that i wanted to focus on long ones then i was like maybe i should do short so it's nice to get um a variety but it is also always going to depend on what the customer wants you know so that is it for this video. I think I touched base on basic things that you need to get your nail press on business up and running. It is 2023. It is time for everybody to branch out, start doing things, getting their business going, you know, get that extra income. Um, I will be posting a lot of... <laughs> I can't talk. I will be posting a lot more videos um, now that I am able to come down to my nail room and record. Um, and I will try to link all these things I have here from Amazon so you guys can link to that and go ahead and start your press on nail journey. Um, I think maybe in the next video I will do a how to like step by step. step. Let me know if you want to do acrylic or y'all want to do gel, okay? Um, so comment gel or acrylic, whatever you guys want to see next. And I will try to make that video this weekend. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. And make sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok. I, um, am trying to continue to branch out, you know, and show everybody my amazing products that I carry. So I appreciate y'all when y'all follow and like all my videos. Thank y'all.